A walk along the ENN Railway's Port Alberni subdivision from Hilliers Road to Little Qualicum Falls Park Road. Here's the big map. The location is Vancouver Island on the west coast of British Columbia and the little red circle is the rough area of my hike. Here's a mid-range map showing Cameron Lake on the left side, Strait of Georgia on the right with Parksville, and I'm somewhere in the middle. There's Hilliers Road. That is my starting point of my hike. It's a level crossing. I think it's mile 7.7 .7 on the Port Alberti subdivision. My turnaround point is right around there. It's Whiskey Creek. It's past Whiskey Creek. It's the Little Qualicum Falls Park Road, and that's mile 10.3. I didn't think I was going to get that far, and along the way in my video, you'll hear me mumbling about, oh, it's 2.6 miles to the park road, but I'm probably not going to do that. And then, of course, I go ahead and do it anyway. So there is the extent of my hike. It's an out and back on a rainy day. And here's a really close look using the railway map. And so the red line follows the railway. And you can see mileposts 8, 9 is right near the highway, right near Melrose Road. And mile 10 on the left-hand side and a little bit further is my turnaround. And so that was my hike. It was kind of an impromptu where I wanted to go out and do something without a whole lot of... Um, pressure of trying to do a video and I ended up doing a video anyways but it was fun because I could just do what I wanted. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. It's an area of the ENN Railway that I hadn't walked before and I'm glad that I did to see what that area looks like because I've driven past on Highway 4 many times and I've kind of wondered what it was like. As usual, when I'm out hiking with a rough idea of where I am, I do make some incorrect assumptions at first and then eventually figure out where I am or what certain landmarks are. So if you know where I am and you're following along, uh, just relax when I make some mistakes and hopefully you'll hear me uh, figure out where I really am. This is Hilliers Road. It's about mile 7.7, .7, something like that, 7.8 on the ENN Railways Port Alberni subdivision. And I'm going to walk westward for a little bit. I've never been here before. The purpose of the walk is to see part of the railway that I haven't seen before. The bigger purpose is to get outside and get some exercise, um, and this is good for physical and mental health. This time of year for me is busy, and so I don't get out as much as I want, and this kind of uh, outing is actually really important for me. So it's good. It sparks my creative interest in things, and when I get home, I get to have some fun editing video which is, again, sparks that part of my brain that I don't use in my work. There it is looking back at Hilliers Road. I'll fix that water spot in a second. It's a rainy morning, light rain. But one of the good things is just the smells are amazing. Just being out in the woods the grass, all that kind of stuff is just really oh, nice for the senses. And it's still just late April, so the grass and the weeds aren't at their height yet. So it's not too bad to walk through. And I'm not expecting any big weed or broom problems because of all the brushing work. There's a narrow country road on the right-hand side, just over this berm. I drove down it a few minutes ago just to get an idea of the railway and how it looked. And as the road rises and falls, sometimes the road's above the railway, sometimes the railway's above the road. It's kind of interesting, but uh, you can't really tell from here because I'm on the nice flat grade. 
and coming up to what looks to be a private farm crossing. There might be a few of these private crossings because there are some farms and acreages around here. There's some old railway carts. If I'm going to guess, I'm going to say this is the Fife property with a landing to access the line. That's about as much as I know. I just like the little bit of old history right here. Here's mile eight, nice faded sign, bunny running down the track ahead of me. First wildlife sighting for the day. Here comes another private crossing. This one looks to be actively in use based on the nice gravel on the road. It's active. It's a driveway. Coming up there. Going up through there. That's where I came from. Nice little curve. Okay, let's continue around this curve. This kind of scene here is exactly what I need. It just smells amazing. The colors are beautiful. It's got that damp west coast forest feel, although there's also a farm vibe really close. I like the green grass. This is pretty. There's the end of the public road right through there. The little trail to get here. When I mapped this out this morning, I figured I could get all the way to Little Qualicum Falls Park Road. It'd be 2.6 miles each way. I'm not doing that today, but this would make for a nice walk. Especially if it's like this the whole time. This is gorgeous. Wow. There's another level crossing up ahead. A road crossing. I just saw a car. So that might be my turnaround point. I can hear the noise of Highway 4. It's on the left, um, on the other side of a farm that's there. This is where I'm not sure if I'm in Hilliers or Whiskey Creek, or just somewhere in between. Through there is Highway 4. I'm coming up to that level crossing, which will be my turnaround, unless things look really, really interesting on the other side. But I'm thinking this is just a short out and back. Give me a taste of this area, and at some point I can come back and go from Hilliers Road all the way out to Little Qualicum. Highway is right through there. And this is Melrose Road. Goes into a rather large subdivision development community that way. Over. That's where I've come from. I'll go a bit further. When I've been on the um, highway driving by, and I do that quite a bit, I've seen what appears to be someone making a, uh, an RV park 
out of the railway area. So I just want to see if I can see where that is. This might be the Whiskey Creek in Whiskey Creek. There's Twin Culvert under the highway. Going to an old culvert under here. I'll research and find out whether this used to be a trestle originally or whether it's always been a culvert. There it goes that way. Let's take a careful look. Under the railway. Right up there. Okay, still heading west for a bit. I'm stubborn. I want to see what's always around the next corner. And then I get to walk on back. Nice dirt cut I'm in. Nice woods. And I just love the misty rain that's coming down. Just adds to this ambience. And a corner. What might be around the corner? Well, up ahead I can see the hydro lines, which part of the north-south Vancouver Island hydro trunk line. I still haven't seen the RV part on or beside the railway grade. Maybe it's gone, or maybe it's around the corner. Okay, I was mistaken about the power lines. These are just local lines coming across here. Here's what was the temporary access crossing for Melrose Road back when there was some work done on the actual Melrose Road area. And I think before that it was an informal illegal crossing by a contractor. If I'm getting my facts mixed up, I'm sorry. But yeah, there's Melrose Road right through there. And just above that berm is Highway 4. Okay, I am coming up to the RV park. It's on an access road that's right beside the railway. Ah, that's what it is. From the highway it looked like it was perhaps right on the railway. But here's the access road and further up is the van life person. As a hobby, I watch a lot of YouTube videos of people that outfit their vans for living in an amazing way. Who knows about this? No judgments. And I get to quietly walk by. Based on the lack of windows, this is not a van life person. But it's a dump. And now I'm coming up to the BC Hydro trunk line. If you like looking at maps of railways and railway grids, you'd probably enjoy looking at the BC Hydro um, transmission line grid for the province of BC. I will try to remember to put a link to that map in the uh, video description for YouTube. A lot of the hydroelectricity on Vancouver Island comes over from an underground cable which lands at Vancouver Island at Nile Creek, really close to the Nile Creek ENN Railway Bridge area just south of Bowser. Then goes inland and becomes a north-south trunk. And then there's branch lines off that trunk to various towns and locations on either coast. The main one over to Port Alberni and Tofino branches off and goes basically over um, past Horn Lake. And again crosses the ENN railway at about mile 27 on the Port Alberni sub. But I digress. Here's the highway. 
it's rainy. Every time I do this, I get to clean my lens. It's a whistle sign, and what I assume is the mile nine sign. If it's mile 10, hey, then the mile nine sign was missing. And the whistle sign, I presume, is for Little Qualicum Falls Park Road. And this is mile 10. Ah, I've come further than I thought. But yeah, this is a scene, the topography that I've seen a lot on Yunnan on the island. Just that lovely light colored moss or, yeah, that's what it is. It's just a lovely carpet and just the sandy soil on the side from the cut. It's like this uh, just north of Rosewall Creek and many other places. Hey, there's a nook shuck right there. So, well, let's take a look around the corner. Why is it that I can't resist a railway corner? Yep, this is the Little Qualicum Falls Park Road. And that's going to be my real turnaround point for reals, like really. Again, dreary, rainy day, yet exactly what I need. Uh, the smells, sounds, solitude is nice, the exercise is good, even though it's killing my hips. This is good. I'll cross the road. So this is the area that they cleaned up with all the horrible windfalls. Uh, this time last year, project was completed. And let's go back railway east at the park here. So again, there's the park sign. Highway 4 down there. I'm going to walk back the railway. I had thought about walking back the highway. Just as it's easier on my legs, but I think when I put the camera away, I can just focus on just walking as comfortably as I can here. All right, so this has been good. This, as usual, when I mumble about, oh yeah, I could go this far, but I'm probably not going to, I end up doing it. And let's go back. And here's mile 10 in the rain. Here's the temporary level crossing that connected Highway 4 to Melrose Road. Right there, back, I'll say two years ago. Got Melrose Road on my left, high up on the top of a hill, and on the right, Highway 4. And I've got roosters making their noise. Okay, so here's Melrose Road. Cross that, I'm making progress. There's Melrose. Highway 4. Mile 8.88 according to the crossbuck. Okay, so mile 9 was just back there a little ways. Okay. With no sign, but hey. That's all right. Heading railway east. It's a driveway, private level crossing. Just a little ways west of mile eight. 
And there's that mile post around the corner. Here's mile post eight. As I dodged some horse manure on the tracks. Here's the area that I've seen a sign call it Fife Landing. Look at that lovely old cart. Well, there's another one there. On just a set of wooden rails. And another set of wooden rails right here. Just heading on in. And I'm back to where I started from. Hilliers Road level crossing. And Slaney Road, which goes parallel to the railway tracks. So I think this is mile 7.7, .7, something like that. Usually the cross buck tells me, but this one doesn't, nor the other one. Okay, this has been a good walk in the rain. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it.